Well, hello everyone. This is the second birthday month of the pandemic and I decided that my food this year should be a lot better than my food was last year to celebrate. So I sent off for something from Alinea in Chicago, one of the top restaurants in the world where I had one of the best meals of my life. Actually, I had two of the best meals of my life because I went there again during the Chicago World Con. I have in this box 27 and a half pounds of food from Alinea and I figured I would open it here in front of you so together we can see what's inside. Hopefully I will not start bleeding out as I open this box. We shall see. It is very well packed. It has a fragile this side up sign on it. I have no idea whether UPS actually paid attention to that sign as they shipped it. The tape is very strong. Stronger than this pair of scissors because I do not have a uh, the proper knife to cut it with, but we shall get this open and I shall not bleed out all over you. We shall see. The excitement is palpable, is it not? There we go. What have we inside? Will it mostly be filled with dry ice? Oh. Here is what is inside. Three pot pies. A lobster pot pie, a beef short rib pot pie, and a pilcro poultry pot pie. Until you're ready to bake, please place in your freezer. Heat the oven to 375. Now we shall take a look and see what's here. Oh, we also have some sauce for the poultry pot pie that has a duck leg sticking in the top. Let us see what we've got here. Okay, here we've got... I can feel the icy air. You can't even see me anymore. Well, I'm going to put this down and then I'm going to remove these pies one by one. Pie number one from Alinea. These will definitely go into the freezer, but I will let you see. Oh, there is ice on top of the pie. All right, inside box number one, we have a bag filled with Bordelais sauce and a Pilcro pie. It's very nice that they have cooling units inside each individual pie. That's pie number one. I will rush these to the freezer as soon as we are done. And then pie number two. Uh, I was wondering why this package said it weighed 27 and a half pounds. Another box that says the Alinea Group. You lift it up and there is this cooling unit and inside we have a uh, herb velouté sauce that goes with the the lobster pot pie I certainly hope I'm pronouncing velouté appropriately and I'm not coming off like someone who knows nothing about cuisine and then we have pie number three. Oh, this seems as if it's the heaviest pie of all. Pie number three. Here, we shall open it for you. Oh, again, it's got a cooling unit up at the top. 
the cooling unit, which I shall remove. And this is the beef short rib pot pie with mushroom sauce. There's the mushroom sauce. There is the beef short rib pot pie. These will now all go into my freezer as I determine what shall happen next, whether they get saved for the birthday day itself. According to these instructions, remove from freezer, unwrap, remove parts from paper, place pie into a baking sheet on the bottom rack of a preheated oven, bake for 80 minutes or until the top is golden brown and the pie is the desired temperature. Tip the knife into the center of the pie until the tip makes contact with the pie tin. Hold for 15 seconds. Remove the knife and carefully place the blade on your palm. The blade should feel warm, hot temperature. Transfer to a decorative platter. Of course, it must be decorative. Note the pie will be very creamy in the center as intended not to hold its shape. It will require a spoon to serve. It notes for the poultry pie, hold the duck leg at the top using a spoon. Scrape the meat from the bone and the duck leg meat to each individual serving. Be careful of any small bones that may come off the duck leg. And for the sauces, they want you to uh, place it in the bowl, run the warm tap water until it thaws 10 to 15 minutes, and then transfer to a medium-sized saucepan. Bring to a simmer over medium-low heat. Put in a gravy boat and serve. It says that my pot pies and their sauces will keep in the freezer for three months. I'll have you know there will be no need for these to keep in the freezer for three months. I will have these for my birthday, whether to have them all at once the same night or savor them over a series of days, I don't know. But thank you, Alinea, for making this year's birthday celebration a little bit better than last year's celebration. I shall now go put these in the freezer and I shall dream about meals to come.